Oh, man. Danny Myers a bar guy, man. You know, when you're preparing for battles, I feel like, I feel like some of the best way to really just break away from all distractions is to kind of like just go out and go out in nature, take a walk. If you got like a low, like a park by your house, just take a walk. I kind of hike, I hike mountains. I, uh, <clears throat> I just kind of go to the lake. And I just kind of, uh, you just wanna, you wanna clear your mind. Like if you could get away from the house, that's a little better. Because when you at the house, it's just too, too many distractions. Like for one, if you writing raps, I feel like you need to definitely get out your bedroom. Get out your living room because you gonna, you gonna be distracted by the video game. The bed is right there. The bed is just calling you like, fuck this rap shit, take a break. Go, go to sleep. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> get to that nigga when you get to him. Nah, man, be the distractions. I feel like you, you really kind of need to kind of become one with nature, get in, get in tune with, with the universe and tap in. It's, a, it's another energy source. Nikola Tesla, I, I remember him, I remember a quote from him and he was like, he, with all these inventions, he invented like 700 different things, things that were stolen from him. I'm talking about zero point energy and you know, how to power other planets. Like Nikola Tesla was on some whole other shit. And I remember him saying, he was just the receiver, meaning these thoughts and ideas were being transmitted to him from another source, like a, I, I don't know what you would call it. Would you call it God? Would you call it the, the aliens? Speaking of, speaking of, hold on, hold on. Look at these things. This right here, y'all, are your average battle rappers. Ducking. Where you at, T-Top? Where you at, Lux? Where you at, Mook? Oh, here y'all are. That go Lux. That go T-Top. That one is Mook. Yeah. Anyway. So, I feel like what he was saying was he was being beamed information from another source and ideas would come to him and he would just write down thoughts and write down the, the, the things that were given to him. And so I, I, I kind of find it where when I'm just kind of by myself, I'm just like, I got the ideas just be coming to me. Like, I'll be like, damn, there you go. Cause like I said, if you're in a house, it's just too easy to look at that PlayStation. It's too easy to look at your bed. It's too easy to look at the refrigerator. Meanwhile, you're just trying to write. Everybody got their own process. I'm just telling y'all mine. Some, some people, they got to get high. They got to get drunk. They got to pop pills. Whatever it is they do, they got to do other things. Some people could just sit down at a kitchen table and probably put some, some headphones on, listen to a beat and write their raps or watch other battles and get inspiration from, from theirs. There's, there's many ways to get, there's many ways to get inspired to do the, to, to write these rhymes and write these bars, but me, I just like to start with, all right, you've got the obvious one is the name flips, right? So when you got, we got South Flair Soul coming up, it's like, all right, Soul, you can use it two different ways. You can use it two different ways. We got, we got Soul as in your inner spiritual chi, your inner conscious being, and then you got the soul of your foot. Then you also got... Soul, soul meaning the, the, the one, the, the only. So then you got, so there you already can just branch off ideas from that. Now I look at the first name, I say Safflair. What can you do with Safflair? First of all, I don't even know what the fuck that means. So now you just gotta play with the, you gotta play with the name. So we can just take the flare apart and you can make some shit out of that. So now that we got the basic name flips down, now we looking at, all right, what do I know about him? Not much. He came from the top six. There's a there's an angle there. Um, he run with foots. Damn, run with foots. That's a bar right there. 
my user. So like, I know he hang out with Foots. Um, it's from the Maryland area. That that, that I don't know if it's a, if he's part of the DMV movement or not. <sighs> I know what he does. He punches, punches. He punches repeatedly. Punches rapidly. Punches. He punches pretty hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I seen. I had him beating chess. I thought he beat chess. I had him. Um, he, I, I thought Nitty edged him out. Some people had him edging Nitty, so that's 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 good for him one way or another. If you anytime you could go in there with one of the greatest battle rappers that ever lived, ever will live, and you can leave out of that battle and walk away and live to tell the tale, you did pretty damn good. So I'm looking at it like, all right, he's 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 he's. I'm not gonna say he's impervious to the punches. Cause he's taking some 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 pretty heavy punches from from chess and from from nitty and he stood on his toes and kept going. So I look at it like, all right, what do I do? What do I do to beat him? Like, do I gotta just punch, or do I go into some other shit? So I was just brainstorming about that part. So every battle is won or lost before you even write a single bar. And I'm, I'm a, let me explain that. You can lose a battle before you even start writing. And how can you lose a battle before you start writing? It's because of the approach you take. If I say, well, let me just get into this battle and outstreet him, that might be the wrong thing. Because even if I go in there and say, yeah, I did this, I did that, what, what have you done? What do we know about you? What if he don't even go that route and he just punches my head off? So the, 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 the path that I chose to take was the wrong one. What if I go in there and say, well, let me just go in there and be funny. I could, I could, I could joke him out of there. You know, you got the nose ring, you got the, the tattoo. I could make all kinds of jokes about that, but then that, could also get me that could be a fatal mistake because he probably on some demon time right now you got to think about it so flair soul was looking at this like i'm battling danny myers the bar god i'm gonna really be in prime form prime condition i'm coming this is joe lewis and and this is uh this is mike tyson this is fraser this is fraser versus ali this is listen let me tell you something a prime example, boxing analogy. Joe Lewis, tough ass puncher. Ali more Ali had a punch, but he also was more finesse with it, right? First fight they had, <laughs> all that finesse shit, all that trying to be cute shit did not work against somebody that was looking at you like, oh, you Muhammad Ali. I don't, I don't care about none of that. And Joe Frazier, Joe Frazier went in there and broke Ali's jaw and knocked him out, won the fight. He won the first fight. So I'm now saying, why am I gonna try to out finesse him when he's coming in there to, to, to throw heavy punches and knock my head off and break my jaw? So I need to be on the same type of time he on. I need to be in there trying to punch and go crazy and do what he's doing. And then what if it's the other way around? What if it's backwards and what if that approach is the wrong approach? What if he's the one saying, okay, so far from what they've seen of me in my career is that I'm punching. But now with Danny, what if I finesse it and switch it up and then I go in there with the punch mentality, but the finesse works for him but it wouldn't work for me. So it's all about being careful and about being crafty and meticulous in how you approach. Like some people kind of write the same for every battle. Some, some, some people write the same for every battle. I personally don't do that. Like I like to analyze my opponent's strength and weaknesses and break it down section by section and say, okay, he can't really do this well. He can't really do this better than me. I know he's got great energy. He's got an uh, aura. He's got that, you know, he's a star aura. He's, he's almost getting there. Like, this is why URL is pushing him as the number one guy out of that, that top six class. They're pushing him. And so now when I got my, 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 my method, 
So I got, okay, all right, I know I got the name flips. I know what to do with the name flips. I could be re real creative with those. Of course, everybody's going to use a soul bar. So you got to just use ones that they haven't used before. Got that, that'd be the challenge. You got to use soul bars that haven't been used before. Then you got to uh, figure out a way to be like just, just originality. And I think that's one of the biggest things that you need as a battle rapper is you need originality. You need to be able to say shit that, okay, because I don't like to see somebody say a dope punchline and I'm like, damn, that's fire. Why well, I didn't think of that? Trust me, we all done did that. We all done heard a bar where we was like, why the, why didn't I think of that? And so what, what, what some people will do is they'll take that and then they'll be like, well, okay, well, he said it like this, but I could just take that same idea and I could just flip it this way. And so what they do is they'll flip something they heard already. So even though it might be a different take, it's a different variation, it's actually still the same bar. This is how deep I be thinking with these punches and these bars. This is why I'm the bar guy, because I'm looking at it like I need to challenge myself. I, I want to be the one to come up with that original bar that people, if they feel like they need to take from me, then they can say, well, Danny said this, so going forward, I'm going to take this bar that Danny said, and I'm going to use this and make it better. And that'd be the whole thing. But see, with me, I'm not, I'm not with taking something. I'm not, taking, I'm not into taking like a used car and then customizing it and making it something new. I'm into just building a new car straight from the ground up, from scratch. That's my thing. And I'm not saying that's everybody's method. But if you want to be a high caliber, respected MC, respected with the pen, you building things from the ground up out of, out of thin air. You're not taking something that's already existing and just trying to improve upon it. And that's what a lot of these battle rappers be doing. They'll just take something that's already there that somebody else done built and then they put their they, they little customization on it. That's not really, that's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. It's not really creative because basically somebody else invented that bar for you. Somebody else invented the idea or the concept for you and you just took it and built on it. And it might not be a bad thing because a lot of the things that, that we live with today were built based on somebody else's concept and somebody just took the idea and ran with it and made it theirs. Even rap styles. <laughs> I'm talking about including styles. That's a whole different blog. But uh, so me, I just want to be unique. I want to be I want to be unique and just have a different take on shit, man. So okay, cool. You got the name flips. Now what else? So then you say, now what else can you do? How you doing? How y'all doing? So you say, what else can you do? All right, well, you just gotta be creative. What else, just, just come up with bars that ain't never been said before. That's it. I, like, I, I also, you know, I could get into rhyme patterns and crazy rhyme combinations and sequences, where it's just like, I'm just lyrically running, running laps around him and showing him his levels to the, to the pen. But with a puncher like him, and the aura and the street talk that he bring, it's like, I can do what you're doing. I can do that, but I can do it better. And I've been doing it better. So that's just like, okay, I can, that's one of the concepts. So again, it's like, you taking, you taking a name, you're taking what little information you may have and you can use that. But me, being that this ain't no personal battle for me, I don't know how he looking at it, but I don't necessarily even got, I don't, I don't got no personal angles. I don't know the man. And even if I did know something about him, I don't need that. Like, I, I'm not even, I don't want to, I don't want to win like that. I want to win just because we went in there and rap bars and the people picked who had the better bars. That just be my whole concept and mentality going into these, into these battles. Again, I'll, I'll come out to the hills 
and I'll just take walks and I'll think and I'll just be thinking like damn all right what can I how do I approach this how do I rhyme this word with that word what rhymes with this what rhymes with this and so I'll go through at least a hundred different variations of rhymes if I got if I if there's a word because for in the English language at least I mean that's the only language I know but um, in the English language, there's damn near a rhyme for every word. And if there isn't, now you got to kind of combine. Damn, how do I? God damn it. My fucking ankle hurt too. Ugh. Oh. 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 Here. Oh. All right. All right. I'm silly. <laughs> but, uh. It might be one word that, that you try to look look for something around with it and there's absolutely nothing that rhymes with it. So now you got to combine words. And what you don't want to do is create some words or make up some shit or get into what we call reaching. You don't want to get into reaching and shit. So uh, I think reading, just reading, reading and writing is just the most fundamental skill a human could learn, you know what I mean? And the, the, the irony is that during slavery, we weren't even allowed to, to learn how to read and write. And now it's like, here we are using them same techniques, the, the, the basic, basic God-given rights to, uh, we're using that to make money buy houses and cars and put kids through college through through reading and writing so I, if you are an aspiring battle rapper or if you already are a battle rapper it's okay to just just get you a book man and i ain't talking about facebook like put the put the social media down reading twitter and and writing tweets on the on your phone that's not reading and writing bro get you a book open your mind expand your horizons it's so much shit that we don't know. We can we can know we can know a lot in our perception of what a lot may be to you, whether you're a college grad or if you teach. But it's just so much that we don't know, and just all that human brain capacity is just being unused. And then a little bit of capacity that, that we do use. We using it for bullshit, for, for gossip and drama. So, ah, oh man. It's okay to just grab a book and read, man. Expand your vocabulary. Everything don't gotta be Glock, Rock, Sock. I sell dope on the block. That's, 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 I don't know, man. That could be fire too, if it's done right, but. We gotta be, we gotta think outside of that. So Flair's soul was tough. He's tough, but I wouldn't have had it any other way. That's all I do is the, the tough fights. Everybody that was on their way up, they had to come see the bar guy. From Geechee Gotti to Rum Nitty to B Dot to Coffee to Emerson Kennedy. Fucking. Kid Chaos, easy to block captain. They all came to see the bar guy in the ring, man. It's a, I'm, I'm like the, I'm the litmus test, man. I'm the test. I'm the test. You know, come, come, if you can, you can rock out with Danny Myers and, and live, you good to go from that point. And, it, and yeah, it's proven. That shit's already proven. But uh, this is just uh, episode one. We're going to drop three of these things, three of them things. Episode one of uh, just how I even get into the thought process. And then I think next episode we'll go over rhyming techniques, rhyme patterns, and uh, counterwriting. What's counterwriting? Um, what are... What are rhyme sequences what is a bar how do you write a bar y'all subscribe to the channel a lot more is on the way danny myers versus south flair soul born legacy 13 
Y'all already know how I do on these Born Legacies, man. That small room is my room. Nitty said he controlled the power and the volume like a screenshot. So I flare sold. I control the power outside like the generator. <sighs> what do I control? I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out.